Welcome to Learning in Limestone. The goal, success for all. Welcome to First Avenue Public School. Uh, parents and aunts and uncles and friends and everyone who came, thank you so much for being here. I just want to first of all just give a big thanks to all the students who, uh, some of them showed up at quarter after seven this morning to meet me at the front doors to help out. So I'm uh, eternally grateful to everyone who, who helped out this morning. So thanks so much. And uh, I'm really excited uh, just to put on display the hard work of the students uh, from First Avenue Public School in grade six, grade seven, and grade eight, who have worked hard cooking the past eight weeks with me, who've been working hard all year with Mr. Hamada in French. Um, I think we should give you guys a round of applause. Thank you so much. Students at First Ave are giving thanks to the special people in their lives by making them a special brunch. They're preparing fruit, making pancakes, and making fruit punch as part of their technology class. Let's see how they're doing. You're serving around 100 people today. What was the first thing you had to do to prepare for this brunch? We had to start making the pancake batter and cutting up all the fruit. All fruit all right. And do you know how much pancake batter you had to, you had to use? I'm pretty... I don't know, but I'm pretty sure we had to use a lot. To, a lot? To serve all of these guests that we're having. A lot of people, right? A lot of batter. You were helping students host a Give a Thanks brunch for the important adult in their lives. Tell me how this idea came to be. Well, really, Andrew, it's a, a bit of an amalgamation between a couple of, of almost kind of like a Mother's Day and a Father's Day event. We wanted to do something later in the year like that, like either a Mother's Day brunch or a Father's Day brunch. And just with the school closing um, at the end of June, um, there's just a lot of things going on at that time of year. So um, it was the idea of the administration at the school just to push the, push the, uh, the idea up a little bit into April and then uh, open it up for moms and dads kind of thing, or any kind of important adult in their lives. First Ave recently received $1,000 from Loblaws to cover the cost of the food. With the help of others in the community, students are now preparing a full-scale brunch, decorating the gym, setting the tables, and serving. In here, uh, especially for the cooking, the kids are coming in and getting hands-on right away. They're involved in, all, in every process of cooking, from uh, prepping the food, to cooking the food, eating the food, cleaning up. It's kind of a, from start to finish, they're involved in all aspects. Um, and from just what I've heard, even uh, feedback from parents um, and from teachers, just the kids are really excited to be involved. They bring the skills home with them, um, and they use the skills in their home life and their family life. And I think it kind of reinvigorates them uh, for some of the classroom learning, where you're a little more, uh, you're, you're, you know, you're sitting a little more, um, you're not necessarily moving around as much. And I feel like this really gives them the opportunity to kind of to move around, uh, to get really active, to then get more prepared for classroom learning as well. We've been working to be able to, like, know what to do, right? So, and today we all had to get up pretty early to kind of start this, to make 200 pancakes for everybody. So you guys made 200 pan pancakes we're, today? We're trying to make 200 pancakes right now. Okay. Will you continue to cook after the First Avenue brunch? Yes, I will, because it will help me with my babysitting, because right. if the parents are gone, I can just cook. Are you going to eat any pancakes? Uh, maybe one, just to try it. Students have been working really hard to prepare this special brunch for their special loved ones. And just to cover your restaurant, the food's the test. A plus. 